This is Susan Bush with SGTV. I was introduced to Robert Townsend in 2007 through R. Kenton Nelson. Robert drove up to see our 1957 exhibition and we struck up a conversation. Two years later, we are about to open our first solo show for him, a pop mythology. Robert was born in 1974 in Downey, California and grew up in Southern California. Early on, the family road trips across the American Southwest made a particularly strong impression on him, especially the rusty textures of cars in the desert and the colors and shapes of the old signs along the highways. Like Ed Ruscha, James Rosenquist, and Andy Warhol, Robert Townsend got started in art by doing commercial work. He moved into the gallery world just a few years ago where his shows have sold exceptionally well. His eye doesn't always seek the ironic pop image, but looks instead for the cool image of a time just before his time. Townsend's California is the California of my childhood. It was a time before iPods, but after great product design had started to change the face of America. His paintings recall the styles we used to wear and the way we wore them. They show the ideal of the American dream, a perfect couple photographed in outfits that seem to fit them just right. We see the games that absorbed whole afternoons, games that remind us of an hour that could be lost in the action of the ball in a plastic toy. Robert's paintings depict a time just beyond memory. Miss Zucchini 1971 invokes humor, but there is something deeper here. Townsend has suspended her in space and time. She won her prize in 1971, but her joy is timeless. She reminds us of the tiny steps we have taken towards a bigger, better life. Robert's paintings also serve to record, in the way that photographs used to, the things that are disappearing from the present digital age like film and flash bulbs. The technology has changed, but our aspirations remain. Technology has not changed the cupcake, though, nor the joy of a case full of artfully baked treats. We are still seduced by creamy frosting and the bright colors of confections too perfect to resist. The slick vision of an America too cool to speed past still compels us to slow down. There is something eternal in the fads of yesteryear, the way we crafted our aspirations in steel and in neon. Townsend's exhibition highlights the mythology of American life. It unites with an exacting precision the banal and the great into a visual culture that has proven beguiling to people the world over. We grew up in this America, and now we long for its simplicity, its panache. We yearn for the ingenuity and the mastery that these images recall. Make fine art a part of your life. Robert Townsend's A Pop Mythology will be on view from September 3rd through November 29th, 2009.